Hello guys, today I managed to enter in Sitin Castle and since we're already here I'm gonna show you guys how to get that awesome title the Sitin Castle Dominator So if you guys are interested in that keep on watching in the video and enjoy Okay, so this is basically how you enter in Sitin Castle It's in the PPP section and you have to have this ticket to enter in Sitin Castle Alright Okay, so I managed to enter in Sitting Castle. I don't know who opened it, but thanks to them, I managed to take a video in how this Sitting Castle look like and how to get that title. And if you guys can see, there's a lot of people from Crimson United. And for all those people who doesn't know Crimson United, is it. Crimson United is the OPS guild in the game. The leader is Dextera and she's really kind. So if you guys want to enter in Crimson United, V91 and you can ask Dextera about it. But yeah, this is basically how you uh, get the title which is the City Castle Dominator and you have to have a Dominator certificate and you just have to talk to this NPC and trade the 30 certificate and voila, you guys can get the City Castle Dominator and this is how it look like. Right. See, that's awesome, right? It's for a melee class. I really like it. Especially when I'm in arena, I usually use that. Or in GPT, it's really useful. Alright, so we're just gonna wait for these guys to start because I think they have their own party since. <laughs> that's my friend. Six love. Six love is the most troll. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> He's a friend of mine. Okay, so let's just buff up. I'm really sorry for my backpack because it's really messy. Always messy. Too many, too many consumables to equip. <coughs> Alright, so we're gonna start now and we're gonna enter in Sitin Castle. And first off, the first boss is in the place of the mansion. So we're gonna go ahead and go there. Uh, just a heads up guys that this boss is not easy it look easy because there's a lot of people killing it and these people are really OP like OP so you maybe there's a chance that you can solo it but I'm just saying that the, the bosses are really strong so that is the first boss and the second boss is in the portal or in the port of where you go in PIP there and it's kind of weird because the boss uh, the, the looks of the boss is kind of weird yeah okay so you have to kill this Kraken to summon the boss the second boss And then there's another one inside, and you have to kill there that one, the one they're killing. And I didn't manage to hit it. <laughs> and then, if you want to hit the boss, that kraken boss in the side, the big kraken, you have to hit that box. Okay, that's where you can hit it. So no matter what you target that kraken, the big kraken side, you can't attack it because it's the box you should attack. I'm kind of confused the first time I did this because I, I was like, oh why, why can't I attack it? It's, ooh, I didn't get a drop. Oh, by the way guys, if you're 
wondering what to get in here, you guys can get a chance to get a Dominator certificate and they will they will mail it to you and if you guys can see my mail is blinking that's where they send the rewards all right so the third boss is near the alchemist so we're just gonna go there these people walk so so fast Man. And I'm stuck. Okay, so I need to kill that. And then there's a larva, or what you call that? Yeah, it's like a cocoon or what? You have to kill that. And then after that, the fourth boss is near the entrance of Castle Gildwar. And just a heads up, the boss is really OP. Like real OP. And the mobs has a poison. I don't know if it's the mob or the boss, but it gave poison and it hurts a lot. Like really. You need a lot of bleach in here. But yeah, a lot of people die in the fourth boss. So if you have any members in a party, let them attack it first. If they're tanky, do the tanking. And yeah, just be careful with your HP bar. That is the boss Olaf. Eh, not Olaf in the Frozen, okay? Okay, so they're just clearing all the mobs because the mobs is really OP. So, and really annoying. There's also people from Tenacious. Tenacious is also a strong guild in the game. One of the strongest guild in the game. I, I'm just not sure who's the leader. I think it's I generic. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you guys died in here, uh, you're gonna be revived outside. And you have to, if you want to enter again, you have to have a ticket to enter. The one I, I show you guys in the beginning of the video. Yeah, you have to have a lot of that. I mean, just in case you die. But if there's a prophet in your party and still alive, they can revive you. It's not like BFS or something. So they can revive you. Okay, so we're just waiting for these people to attack because I'm so scared. Why did I? Why did I click that? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die! Help! Help! This is what this is what happened if you if you're so new. <laughs> I think they are waiting for the people who died to enter again so they can help because this boss is really hard. But of course, if you guys are like 10 people or 20 people, this will be easy. They are coming back. The first time that I've been in City Castle, I think I died twice or three or five times. Because I just want to get the title. And I managed to get a title. It was really easy. 
but when we try the boss, oh my gosh, it's not easy. Because <laughs> at that time, PFS Stone is still not released, so there's not much you can put in your weapon or set to make you tanky. Think they are ready to charge. All right. Hug your leech, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Oh my gosh, that AOE hurt a lot. I swear. There, it died. I get it. May, it may look so easy and easy to kill but it's really not if you're soloing it's not these people are so pee some of the people in here are my friend especially uh, puppet six love Sometimes I party with Riosa and Walt as well. Yeah. They are kind people. But don't engage in PvP because they're gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, so we're just waiting for the last boss to... I don't know if it's the last boss. Second to the last maybe. Or third to the last. It looked like a bird there. There you go. Okay, let's sprout that weapon. They kill so fast, my gosh. Here's another one. Alright, so after that, there's another boss that will appear. There. Now I look like Slady. Can't imagine how OP these people are. And there you go. I think that's it. That's how you do sitting castle. I think it's done. But let's just stay for a little longer. Maybe there's more. Oh, okay, it's done. Alright, so we're gonna check our mail just to check the item that they send us. And this is it. There's a random bag that you guys can get and there's 1% chance that you guys can get the Demeter certificate. I mean, I'm not sure if it's this is the one, but yeah. I'm not really lucky to get the Demeter certificate, so yeah. So yeah, that's basically how you do City and Castle. I hope you enjoyed that video and if you do please comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.